Hey folks, we're back over here again uh, doing a little crappie fishing because my lovely wife, who will not touch fish or seafood with a 10 foot pole, heard Parker Pursuit this morning talking about fish tacos and said, hmm, that don't sound bad. I'd like to try that. So we're going to come over here and try to get stuff for fish tacos. And I've been playing around with uh, tying my own jigs for a little while. So I'm going to try to catch my first fish on one of the first hand ties I made. I'm not sure which one to go with, so I'm just going to start randomly trying a few. There's a little gold bucktail I made. Oop. I'm going to try him and see if I can't catch a fish on it. And that'll be pretty sweet if I do. And baby, do you say you want to try one? Yeah. Let's see, you're rocking the pink pole, so maybe you no, should try the pink jig. This is my catfish pole. Oh, okay. Well, here, try the pink one anyway. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to give it a shot. And we got minnows, just in case they ain't biting jigs, or my jigs. All right, mama got the first one of the day. Unfortunately, these loser crappie don't want anything to do with my jigs, so she put on a minnow and yeah, she smoked the first one. Nice. Well, she caught that one on a minnow and I'm seeing a bunch of shad swimming around. So I'm thinking maybe gold wasn't the right choice. So I switched to this little guy. And shiny silver white bucktail thought maybe it'd be a little more like what they're feeding on so far ain't got nothing but i'm also fishing about five foot deep maybe i can shallow up a little bit or something deepen up whatever i'm gonna i don't know i'm gonna try it for a little longer i hate to be a quitter but i also like to catch fish so might switch to minnows here before long I didn't want him to eat my jig anyway. Hey, real gal's got her a catfish. I don't know if y'all can see that. I just looked over and her rod was bent over in the letter C. All right. Looks like a pretty good one too. Dude, look at this thing. Hey, there's our fish tacos. I got easy, easy. You got it? I got my other line too. Come here, buddy. All right. Hey, oh. <laughs> Sorry, I got both poles here. Yeah, he wrapped up in both of them. Oh, watch it. Nice. I know I'm still crappie fishing. <laughs> Crap. I'm gonna get this out of here. What was that on? Chicken. Heck yeah. Chicken. Look, there's my piece of chicken right sure there. Sure Reuse that, see if we can do that again. Nice, baby, good oh, job. I'm fire today. You are on fire. That's what I caught that on. What's that? I think pole. <laughs> Just saying. Well, so far, folks, uh, she's the only one that's caught a fish. She's caught two crappie and a nice little channel cat. I'm gonna weigh it. <laughs> you wanna weigh it? All right, we'll weigh it. Yeah, look at it. So, we was really wanting to try fish tacos. There we go. Let's go get a weight on him for her. Yeah, he might be your PB channel cat. He might be. What's your biggest channel cat so far? About three, four, four pounds? Oh, yeah, that's when you caught that one on that cricket. Right there. Well, the fish crickets. Are you just going to lip them? Yeah. There we go. I'm excited. Oh, there we go. A little over five. He's probably five and a half. Nice, baby. I just looked over and I seen your pole going like nuts. I'm like, what in the world is going on? Still going? Hey, <laughs> Fi fishy high five. <laughs> Good Wait, job, baby. Go for one. Uh. <laughs> All right, guys. So, new strategy. It's pretty dang cold and uh, the wind's kicked up about what 12 mile an hour. Mm -hmm. So, we're uh, truck fishing. You can see her poles out there. You might be able to see mine. We're just kind of hanging out in here where it's warm watching the poles. We kind of give up on the crappie fishing. They're not really wanting to cooperate today. Um, so we're going to move down a little further because we haven't had a bite here in about, what, 20, 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. So we're going to move down the way and do some more truck fishing. So you want to tell these folks? What? What's the big idea you out fishing me today? Um, 
It's been fantastic, and I look all dressed up. <laughs> you look great. No. <laughs> you always look great. So, yeah, she's the only one that's caught a fish so far. As soon as I seen her uh, pulling that channel cat, I went and <laughs> threw out two catfish poles and just about the same place as her, and mine ain't getting touched, so it's on her today. If we was waiting on me, we'd go hungry, but since she's here, I guess we're going to have supper tonight. It's so cold. Hey, good job, babe. Thanks. Well, all right, guys. We're about to reel them up and head back to town. Looks like that might have been the only fluke catfish today, <laughs> but I'm sure glad we got it because uh, she's finally agreed to try fish. I haven't ever, well, no, once you tried trout that one time, didn't mm -hmm. you? We are up in the deer woods. We got her to taste trout one time. But other than that, never seen her eat fish. So pretty excited to uh, get home, get this catfish filleted out, and a little crappie filleted out. She caught two crappie, by the way. So that'll be enough to uh, make some fish tacos. And thank you, Mr. Parker Pursuits, for uh, inspiring real gals with your fish taco talk earlier. But all right, guys, we're going to call it. So uh, hey, just remember, if you're going to get out here and get out fished by your wife why don't you take a second today and thank god for uh his beautiful creation that he's made and allowed us to enjoy and since we're doing it in peace and safety why don't you take a minute and think of veteran for that all right guys god bless we'll see you on the next one Try your first catfish? I am. And your first crappie? Yes. Look at these giant crappie fleas. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, go make a taco. That's right. <laughs> nice. Good job, baby. That's your fish. Thanks. All right, guys. I got some fleas in here, got them all cleaned up. And I didn't show it, but I should have. Um, when you got a fillet on the, the outside, which would be next to the skin, there's some red, uh, red meat we call it. Some people call it a bloodline, a mudline. Anyway, just take you a good sharp little fillet knife, go along and skin some of that off if you can. Anything that's yellow is fat, and fish fat is terrible, so get rid of that. Anyway, clean it all up, put it in these little chunks, little nuggets. And my Uncle Rick used Old Bay on every fish he ever cooked, and bless his heart it is awesome i'm glad he did and i'm glad he showed me because old bay rocks so old bay them up and then put them in the cornmeal all right see you when the grease gets hot all right so i know i already said uh goodbye and did an outro and everything, but we decided to just turn this into a catch and cook. We've never done those. People seem to like those. I enjoy watching them. So I figured we'd do that. So hush puppies about done. We got one batch of the fish out. Got the last batch of fish in the fryer. And uh, yeah, we'll show you how it turns out. And I kind of want to, if real gals will let me, get her reaction to her first taste of fish. We'll see how that works out. All right, stick around. All right, they're all done. Let's see how real gals did hers. She went, uh, let's see, fries. She's got lettuce, tomato, tartar sauce, and she got the catfish. I went, let's see, lettuce, pickled to gal, catfish, and some uh, some Fowler's hot sauce. If y'all ain't never had that, it's awesome. And yeah, she said I could not put her reaction on video, so. Sorry guys. Anyway, looks really good. I'm gonna get off here and uh, eat while it's still hot. Sure appreciate you guys watching the video, sticking around to the end. And yeah, God bless guys. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.